Can you show the avionics bay? Absolutely. The aircraft in question is the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. I have made many videos on this particular aircraft, but one thing I want to show you is a nice little tour of the forward avionics bay or the equipment bay as well as the aft. So let's go. This is the forward equipment bay or the avionics bay. First thing you're going to notice is wiring and a whole lot of it. Not only do you have your standard shielded and insulated wiring, but you also have ethernet wiring as well as fiber optics. The reason for majority of the paint on some of the components here, which is green, that's because of zinc chromate. That's an anti-corrosive. Majority of aircraft use this. On the interior of the airplanes, when you see green like this, yeah, that's what it is. Along with all this fantastic wiring and incredible wire management, you also have computers, which are rack mounted, as you can see majority of these are modular. You also have a few physical circuit breakers or thermal circuit breakers as you can see right there. The main ship battery is also in here which I'll show you at the end. You also have RPDS, remote power distribution systems within the aircraft. Those are scattered through the length of the aircraft. Basically supply power to a variety of systems. What you're looking at here is right underneath the pilot's feet. Even though the aircraft is a pure flyby wire it still needs some mechanical functionality as you can see right here. Linkages that run to the pedals as well as the yoke. All movement is translated into electrical signals and distributed to respective flight controls and brakes. The white coverings you see all over the place, that's basically insulation. To my left right there, that's actually where the nose wheel well is. One of the most important components within this bay is the CCR, the Common Computing Resource Cabinets. It's basically the brains of the operation. It gathers data from everything, not only distributing to the flight deck, but as well as to the components outside. Oh, and to mention, this is where the oxygen bottle, the crew oxygen bottle is housed. It's within the forward equipment bay. When we work in this environment, we have to be very careful. Obviously the cabling and all the wiring is exposed. So when we are doing maintenance, we take great care making sure we don't disrupt any of the systems. Fun little fact for you guys. This oxygen bottle requires no tooling at all. Everything is a quick disconnect. The only tool you probably need is your Leatherman just to put on the witness cable. Okay, that was the forward equipment bay. This is the aft. This is located right in the center body, right between the main gears, accessible through the belly. It looks very much the same. This equipment bay also houses the APU battery. It's much smaller than the forward, but very tightly packed with electronics and avionics. Now, obviously I'm talking here and I got some music going, but if you were actually standing in here, it is extremely loud. So loud to a point you probably could not even hear yourself. You have cooling fans consistently trying to cool down all this electronics. This is done by a system called PEX, Power Electronics Cooling System. It uses cooling fluid to decrease the temperature of the aircraft components or the electronic components. This aircraft is very much a power hog. It just takes a lot of energy to make sure the aircraft is functioning properly. Matter of fact, it's so smart that it will even load shed certain systems. It will redistribute power where it needs it and how it needs it. Now, back to the batteries. I'm sure most of you already know the mishap that 787 went through. A lot of growing pains, especially because of the batteries. These are lithium ion batteries. And as I said, most of you know, the aircraft or the whole fleet was actually grounded just because of this battery, because it was overheating and causing a lot of issues and fires. After the grounding of the aircraft, Boeing engineers figured out a way to fix this which was basically put the battery in a steel coffin, which you see right there. Trust me when I tell you, it is a pain to remove this battery. We are very mindful of not letting it drain. But once it does, yeah, all those nuts and bolts have to be removed. 45 nuts and bolts, if I remember correctly. The battery itself weighs about 65 pounds and runs on 28 VDC. It has a monitoring system for its own temperature and has proper ventilation with an overboard vent tube and a pressured burst disc. Well, yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick little tour of the forward and aft equipment bay on the 787 right there. Quite a miraculous aircraft. And like I said, the issues have been worked out. It's a solid bird. Thank you for watching. Take care.